Sometimes you feel like a shame or like a ruse A half-cooked idea or a trick to be used And sometimes you feel so lowly, halted and stark Waving in the wind like a flag that's torn apart But we all walk blindly when we stagger and we strut And we're all dealt the hands with the cards of our luck And we all bow down silent at the words when we're struck By the shameless light of the broken afternoon Brought a bunch of stuff at the gas station. Stack up on snacks. We're gonna do the dicks range today, but Andrew's a little under the weather, so. I wouldn't say under the weather. Well, I guess he's not under the weather, but we're just doing Marshall. I'm gonna save the dicks range for September, but Marshall will be fine. So we'll, we'll live. Hopefully. Maybe. If I don't fall off a mountain. If we don't fall off. All right, let's get back on the highway. Uh, so the pavement's ended. I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> Things just got a little weird. A little bit. I don't think anyone cares. Uh, I can see pavement starting again. That was very sudden. Though. This is very, this is very <laughs> bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What is going on? Uh, uh, here comes one big bump. Uh, 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 back on him. Yay. So now we're here. All right, so we got all the gear on. Sitting by this old house. The house, not looking too good. Population zero. Andrew's slathering on the sunscreen. And went with the Mavericks hat today. Guess it was a good decision. Yeah. And we are gonna go do Marshall. Head up the, the end of the road here, sign in, and get going. Should be in about a, a little over an 11 mile day. Yeah, we're at the register. For that. I'm gonna try to write left handed because I'm holding this with my right hand. And I already broke the pencil. Not a good start to the day. Well, we should probably just turn around and go back. Fucking work. We don't want to watch our way around that. Andrew always comes through in the clutch. I do. Dig it. Please bury human waste and toilet paper off the trail. Well, if that need arises, I guess I, I can adhere to that. So we're following the red trail markers for now. Tough, too tough of a day. Of course, I say that now, but things never really go as you plan. So, well, so thus far it's been 
piece of cake. It's really only been probably less than a mile, but there's not too much going on with the trail here. It's just flat, open, easy to follow. And that's it, so I don't think it'll be a while before we really start to ascend, but take advantage while it's cool out and really flat. Welcome to the Flowed Lands with your tour guide Andrew. <laughs> At least he thinks so, he says. We're never really sure of anything we say. We usually just say the first thing that pops into our head. It's alright though. Makes for fun. Also makes it horribly misleading for you. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I just went through a little bit of overgrowth there. Thought maybe the DEC should invest in a nice, you know, lawnmower. Something like that. Or a machete. A machete, that's, that's a good idea too. So we're heading to Lake Colden. Which is three and a half miles away. So who knows how long that's going to take. Can't imagine it's going to be too long because it should be pretty flat. Yeah, we're gonna get over this little uh, bridge and get going. So, uh, it's been about close to a mile since we got, since that bridge, and uh, started going uphill a little bit. Starting to actually breathe a little bit heavier, but still nothing too bad. It's kind of been doing an up and then a plateau, up plateau. Right now we're on one of those plateaus, but we gotta start gaining elevation at some point, so better little by little than all at once, I guess. Uh, so we kind of decided to stop at this little stream here. The trail seemed to go in two different directions. Don't really know what the hell's going on. Uh, Andrew's taking out the map. He's gonna, gonna figure this out for us. That is kind of a nice place to stop. I mean, there's a footbridge over there, which, if you look, it's actually <laughs> tilted pretty badly. It's kind of, I don't know if we have to go over it or not. We're gonna find out. But either way, it's a good spot to stop. So we're gonna get back going again. Andrew's crossed the stream right now. I just uh, checked the little thermometer that I have on my pack, and uh, according to that temperature, it is about 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it's also weird for me to believe that my thermometer is broken, which is unfortunate. It cost me a whole three dollars to throw that thing, but. I guess I got what I paid for. Anyway, back on the trail. So yeah, this looks fun. Uh, lots of mud right here. Hoping I don't sink in too deep. That kind of rolls a little bit. Yeah, that wasn't hard. All right, we made it. Only a whole bunch of miles to go. More mud. Okay. Andrew's just saying, screw this, I'm going the, uh, the dry way. And I think what I'm gonna do is walk right through it. Cause I like to do things the messy way. See, that wasn't so bad. I figured it out. Let's see if Andrew can go on the little balance beam here. He's been watching the Olympics. It's pretty sturdy, I guess. I give it two Gs. <laughs> Brian Lochte is apparently Andrew's hero right now. <laughs> 
I don't think that's a good thing. Well, this is awkward. See, blank trail junction sign. It's like one of those blank scrabble tiles. <laughs> we don't get any points for this. But my assumption is we're going left. So that's what we're gonna do. Ah, so uh, here's this uh, David Henderson monument. Oh, this is the monument? Yeah. This is the Henderson monument, alright. Yeah, pretty cool. Some cool stuff in here. This is the spot where uh, David Henderson shot himself. By accident. Yes. By accident, yes. Yeah, by accident. Rest in peace, David. <laughs> Whoops. No disrespect, man. Yep. So what'd you say this was? Calamity Pond? Yeah, it should be. Should be. Well, I guess this is Calamity Pond. I feel a little awkward because I'm standing on this spot where somebody supposedly accidentally shot themselves. I want to get off this thing. But I'm assuming the trail just goes back that way. Me and my assumptions. You know what they say about assumptions? What do they say? I don't know. He doesn't know. Neither do I. Oh well. So, uh, just to clarify, well, that trail splits right there. That left turn is a dead end right to that monument. You want to go right. Yeah, so I don't know what the hell's going on here. Flowed lands look like it's over there. I'm thinking the trail's this way. So the hell with it, we're just gonna go. See what happens. As always. So when Andrew and I found the herd path to Marshall, it should be about a mile and change until we get to the, uh, to the summit there. It was marked by Karn. Right before we got there, I got stung by a nice bee on my leg. So that's fun. If my lungs close up. This is a good way to go as any, I guess. So, hopefully that doesn't flare up too bad, but whatever. Well, we decided to have a seat on this log. So, kind of getting ready to Make the big ascent of Marshall and then um, probably take a rest at the top for a while. My leg is now on fire from that bee sting, so that's fun. Oh well. Life is hard. Crossing this little bedrock stream now. The top of the where it's dry. No sense of falling down. And back on the herd path. Alright, so, so far, I've been going uphill pretty steady. Um, just meandering all over that brook. Herbert Brook, I believe it is, but uh, I've been crossing it a million times. It's been really muddy. Uh, so thus far, this ascent of Marshall has been kind of a pain in the ass. But uh, I mean, regardless, gotta get it done. And, uh, hopefully we reach the summit soon. So my legs are getting chewed up right now. By bees, by mud, underbrush, whatever. All right, so we got to this car in here. Really, from here, it shouldn't be too much further. What do you think, about a tenth of a mile? Maybe two or three. Maybe two or three. So, uh, don't want to go that way, because that's just going to take you back down the mountain. So, I'm going to head up the trail. There's another little car right next to where Andrew's standing. Ooh, that wind feels good. Uh, right here. I just want to keep up. Uh, 
of here until we get to the summit. So I guess I will see you at the top. Little peek at Iroquois. That was a that was a fly. That was a hell of a day. A lot of bad decisions and pain occurred on that day. Mm -hmm. And that was halfway to 46 for me anyway. Isn't it? Got a nice little, uh, looks like a little scramble. It's kind of hard to film it because it's right in front of the sun, but see how Andrew handles it. We should be getting pretty close to the summit here. That last turn off though, the, uh, the map didn't really do it justice. I think it was a little bit farther than, uh, just a tenth of a mile or three tenths. It's probably a little bit more, but sometimes it's kind of tough to tell because to scale, it's like those black dots that they put on there. <laughs> if it was a representation, it'd be like a hundred foot wide trail. So, oh well, you got through that, no problem. Right. Well, there's the summit side. It's number 37. Yes, it is. We're going to kind of roam around the summit here. Just look for, herd look for some views. Some of these herd paths. But uh, that's uh, another one in the books for us. So there's not too much going on right on the summit, though. It's pretty, uh, pretty heavily wooded. <laughs> And God knows what. More stuff. Flowed lands down there past Andrew's I'm head. Hi. Andrew, yeah. Exciting. And then, oh, there's Colvin and Marcy and Gray and Skylight and Redfield and Cliff. Big and all the slide in the, in the background. Yeah, yeah, the big, big slide over there. And is, that, is that giant way, way, way over there over everything? You better believe it. I better believe it is. So, Very nice view. Yeah, you actually got a decent view if you, if you want to work for it on Marshall. But, uh, we're going to pack up and head back down now because uh, we've kind of really taken it slow today, taking our time. and it took us probably over, a little over four hours to get up here, so that's pretty slow for us. But, oh well, it's worth it. We are heading down Marshall now. I gotta say, this hike has been just muddy as all hell. Just constantly trails soaking wet. I've almost lost a boot probably three times. And it just continues and continues and continues. Oh, not my favorite trail or herd path, whatever, but it's just a lot of meandering and a lot of slop. Other than that, it's great though. Alright, so we're finally off of Marshall and back at the, the little register here that's near the outpost. So, uh, we got. Four and a half miles to her back to the car. Should just be a couple hours. But we're gonna shout sign out of here and then just get a move on. So uh, we got 1.2 miles left according to the sign here. We're just sitting on this bridge, just getting our last little drink of water before we head out. Overall, I mean we've taken it really slow today. But, um, you know, just kind of knowing we got up early and there's only, uh, really one mountain we were doing. Yeah, we just kind of made it more of a leisurely hike than our usual, just put our head down and go. So, that's, uh, about it. So, 
hopefully in about a half hour uh, we'll be seeing the car and uh, get out of here. So we're done. Took us a hell of a long time today, but can't really complain because we really were not pushing ourselves at all. But I just sign out and then get back to the car and then get the heck out of here. Okay, so now for my summary of Mount Marshall. Um, overall, the hike it was not overly difficult. Um, it's almost seven miles one way. I initially underestimated it. I thought it was just going to be around 11. Um, turns out that's not exactly accurate. I kind of went back and mapped it out. It looked like it was closer to uh, around 6.7, 6.8 one way. So um, it's going to be between 13 and 14 miles there. I don't know exactly how long, but uh, that's what I would estimate it at. As far as the hike goes, there's just a few things to look out for. You have a few um, few muddy spots and a lot of spots where the, when you get to the herd path, it just kind of meanders all over the place. So uh, you're definitely going to want to make sure you stay on the trail, especially when you get to the Herbert Brook uh, trail section of the uh of the hike you're going to be crossing that stream several times um just make sure that you're staying on the herd path and then as far as the uh you know the the views go it's really i mean the the summit itself right at the tr at the summit side it's not too much to speak of it's just heavily wooded area um kind of everywhere you look but there are some herd paths up uh, to some uh, rock outcroppings where you can actually get some very good views we managed to find a couple spots where we could get views towards the St. Noni's and then um, we found another spot off the uh, herd path just before you get to the summit uh, where we got a pretty good look towards Marcy, Colden, uh, Redfield Cliff, Skylight, and Gray. So overall I would give the hike a, uh, a five on both ends for uh, difficulty and views. Um, and as far as recommending it to somebody who's just looking out for a view, I would... Uh, you know, don't sleep on Marshall. Maybe it's not your favorite hike to do in the world. It certainly doesn't have the allure of the other McIntyres, but it's still a good hike uh, that you can do in a day as long as you're in decent shape. Um, so I'd say if, you, uh, if you're just a casual hiker, give it a shot.